Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily boost your FPS in Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and search up mod winf, like so. Here, you'll see modern.com, just click on modern, and this will bring you to the modern homepage. So here, all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content, and you want to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is get two mods. You want to get sodium and sodium extra. To get these, you simply want to go to the mods search here on search mods, and you want to type in sodium, and you'll see both of them here. So we'll first start by getting sodium here. So just click on the name, and this will be to this page. So just go to versions, and here it is important to choose what game version you want to play. So we can go to game versions and here select a game version you will be playing. So I'm going to be playing 1.21.5 and here we will be choosing Fabric. So just click on the download button for that. And now you have Sodium. And now you need to do the same thing. So let's just go to Discover Content Mods and let's just type in Sodium. And right under it you'll see Sodium Extra. So just click on the name, and you want to do the same thing. You want to go to versions, you want to go to game versions, and here you want to select what game version you want to play. Make sure it is the same one as Sodium, and we'll just do 1.21.5. And here, just go ahead and find one for the right version, for Fabric, and I'll just click the green download button. And you now have Sodium Extra as well. So now to run these mods, you need to have Fabric. And to get Fabric, you need to go to a new tab, you need to go ahead and go to search, and you search up Fabric Minecraft, like so. Now just enter, and you'll see Fabric MCI Net. just click on Fabric, and this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. From there, you want to go to the blue download button, and now you want to go to the blue downloads for window button here. And you now have Fabric Installer. So all you want to do here is just close your web browser, and then you want to go to your File Explorer, to access your downloads folder. Now, all you want to do is double click the Fabric Installer. Once you do this, you're going to have a little version selector here with Minecraft versions. Just select what version matches here, and of course, it's the same version that you want to play. So we'll just do 1.20.5, and now just do install. Okay, and close. And now, all you want to do is go to your Minecraft launcher, and we'll be adding the two mods, so Sodium and Sodium Extra, to the mods folder. And the way you do this is simply by making sure you have Fabric Loader. This means you have a new folder called Mods. And to access that folder, you want to go to Installations. You want to go to Fabric here and go to the folder icon. Now, all you want to do is find a Mods folder here. You want to go ahead and double click it. And then you want to go to Downloads. You want to select the two mods and copy them. And then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click Paste. And you now have the two mods here. So all you want to do here is just go back to your Minecraft launcher, you want to go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and if it is, click play. You might have a little warning here, just to understand the risks, and click play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up, where you will have the two extra mods, which are amazing for FPS performance. So let's just wait for that to open up real quick. Okay. And once we have this, we just want to go ahead and go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. This is client side. So we'll just go to a single player world here, and we'll go ahead and try out our two mods. So this will be a Minecraft world like so. And immediately you can see that the rendering was really quickly on this world. And you can go ahead and try out if you have sodium by just doing F3 here. And you can see that we have some pretty good FPS, and you can see that we have Sodium Renderer. But something else you can do with Sodium than just the default FPS boost that it comes with, is the performance settings. So basically, if you go on Escape, Options, Video Settings, here you'll see a bunch of settings here. So we'll just do Close on this if you really want to, you can give them a bit of um, donations, but we'll just go ahead and just do close. And from there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and look at these settings. And some of these settings could be useful for your specific case. So 
if you have a lot of animations around you you can go ahead and turn these down if you have a lot of particles you know all of things that you might be doing specific you can always turn down here and it will be pretty useful for you and if you're using a mac os device so like a macbook or something you will see that you can reduce resolution which is really useful for minecraft because you can't do this natively really with a mac computer which is really useful to have here so yeah you see a, a bunch of settings you can change to give you more fps as well which is cool so yeah this is how we get a bit more performance easily in minecraft java so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye